why you might not want to talk so much at your immigration interview. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. I was thinking about what video to shoot and I had an important point that I wanted to make and that is that you probably don't want to talk too much at your immigration interview. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times people try to be clever at their immigration interview. They like to be trying to stay one step ahead of the immigration officer. They like to be thinking and maneuvering and trying to figure out why they're asking each question when really they should just tell the truth and keep their answers short and sweet. And that's what we want to talk about today. Keeping your answers short and sweet. I tell my clients all the time before either visa interviews or green card interviews or naturalization interviews that you don't want to talk too much. And why is that? Well, when you go to an interview, your job is to tell the truth and to answer their questions. And a lot of times clients or people being interviewed will get nervous and they'll want to fill that gap because there are always moments during an interview where an officer is typing on the computer or searching through documents, going through their file. And during that downtime, you might feel inclined to spit something out of your mouth that isn't helpful. Or you might answer a question cleanly, say yes, and then say something silly that just leads to more questions. So when you're preparing for your immigration interview, you really want to practice answering with yes or no answers. If you can answer with a yes or a no, that's going to be your best bet. I tell my clients, you're not there to tell your life story. You're not there to make friends. You're not there to tell jokes. You're just there to answer their questions. So just answer the question. Don't offer other things. If you worked without permission and they asked you about it, you admit it. Uh, but if you, you don't need to then give them every detail and say, oh, I knew it was wrong. Oh, I shouldn't have done it. There's no reason to add all that stuff. Just answer their questions. They don't want to hear a big litany of answers from you and you really need to focus on the questions that are being asked and answer them directly and quickly and concisely. You don't want to just ramble on. You don't want to just keep talking. So you should really, the best bet is to have someone read you the questions from the uh, I-45 or the DS-260 or the N-400, whatever application you're applying for. Have people read you those questions and answer with a yes or a no if you can. And then if they ask you to elaborate, then you elaborate. You explain your answer. But don't elaborate unless you're asked to. Don't give a big long speech unless someone tells you they need more information. Just answer the question and then do this. Be quiet. Just be quiet. Your interview is going to go much more smoothly. You're going to have a much better chance of success than if you're just trying to talk and talk and talk as if this person were your best friend. Because remember, this person is not your best friend and they might not be trying to help you. And your officer might come across as very nice, but they might be trying to get information out of you to change your case from an approval to a denial. So go in there with a level head, go in there with open ears, and try to say as little as possible. Obviously you have to be honest, obviously you have to be complete, but you don't have to give long rambling stories with boring details or go off on tangents that aren't related. So I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope that you don't make the mistake of just rambling on. I hope you um, have all the success in the world at your interview and if you want to be successful one of the best things that you can do is to answer short answers yes or no and not give big long speeches. So if you found this video helpful please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, join us in our Facebook group which is called Immigrant Home and then if you have a video you'd like us to shoot shoot us an email at info at hackinglawpractice.com and you can always give us a call if you have a question, 314-961-8200. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.